Just two gals. Just two gals and a candle. What's new? Girls Day. O L G. Watch out, YMCA. There's a new dance in town. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Tres says I crushed it. I am glad she taught me how to say omnipotence. You guys, nothing gets me quite as jazzed as a good old Marian feast day. And that's what today is. Our Lady of Guadalupe, yes and amen. What a beautiful example this story is of our mother's love for us. If you're not familiar with her story, let me just catch you up to speed. So one day, now Saint Juan Diego was on his way to daily mass when he heard the sound of beautiful heavenly music. When he looked around to see where this was coming from, he was met by an apparition of our Blessed Mother. When the Blessed Mother appeared to him, she asked Saint Juan Diego to appeal to the bishop for a church to be built in the site where she was appearing. Obediently, our buddy Juan goes to the bishop and tells him what he's seen, what he's heard, and submits the Blessed Mother's request to his authority. He doesn't really take it. To the bishop, it was kind of in one ear out the other. He thought he might be a little crazy, wasn't really sure what was going on, so he says no. Following his response, Juan Diego goes back to the original site where he meets the Blessed Mother who already knows that the bishop said no. What does she say? She says, do it again, ask him once more. So there he is back on his way to the bishop who asks him, give me a sign. Give me something to work with here. I need some sort of evidence of the Blessed Mother. You know, I need some content to work with here. So Juan Diego promises he will be back the next morning with a sign, trusting that the Blessed Mother will deliver, but then there's a bump in the road. His uncle becomes terribly sick. As he stays by his uncle's bedside for days while he has a fever, he is unable to keep his promise to the bishop because he's caring for his uncle. He begins to have this fear that his uncle is going to die without receiving last rites, without having a final confession, and so he goes on his way to try to find a priest to give last rites and a last confession to his uncle. While he's on his way, the Blessed Mother meets him on the road, <laughs> and immediately he feels sadness and disappointment because he was not faithful to his promise to the Blessed Mother or the Bishop. But the Blessed Mother meets him in his shame and in his agony and his suffering of caring for his uncle and trying to be faithful to his promises to her and to the bishop and everything that's going on. And she says, am I not your mother? Are you not in the crossing of my arms? And then she instructs him to climb to the top of the hill where she originally appeared and he'll find roses there that he can bring to the bishop. Side note, it's the middle of December. So he's a little confused, but our guy obeys the Blessed Mother as he does and heads on up to the top of Tepeyac Hill where he finds roses galore, blooming in all their glory in the middle of December. So he packs them up in his tilma, leaves them inside and brings them to the bishop. When he brings them to the bishop, he opens his tilma, the roses fall to the floor and almost become irrelevant because on the tilma is the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which we know today. You can put a picture here. A beautiful, profound image with so much meaning of our Blessed Mother as she appeared to Juan Diego. While this was happening, for one final time, Our Lady appeared to his sick uncle and told him that she wanted to be known as Santa Maria de Guadalupe, Our Lady of Guadalupe. So after that, there were no further questions, the church was built, and now we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe on December 12th, and she is the patroness of the Americas. This is one of my favorite stories because it just shows us the love that our mother has, her motherly heart to follow us, to meet us where we are, and to bring us closer to her son. Even in Juan Diego's confusion, chaos of his life, of caring for his family and trying to obey what the Lord was calling him to, she met him and walked him gently to the Lord's will. Blessed Mother chose to appear to an ordinary, indigenous, humble, holy man that nobody really expected. In union with the Lord, the Blessed Mother chose Juan Diego to further God's will on earth. And I think he'll do the same for you. God's grace and his omnipotence is not measured by our own standards or what we expect for our lives or what we see coming or what we think we deserve. It's simply presented to us and we have the opportunity to say yes or to say no. And even if we say yes and then mess up or get distracted, it doesn't change his will for our lives. It doesn't change the love that he has for each one of us and the greatness that he desires to accomplish through our surrender, through our continually saying yes 
to him and his will. And the Blessed Mother is the best person to walk with, the most wonderful guide. She desires God's will for our lives more than we do. Through love of her son, she loves us. And for love of her son, she wants to accomplish his will in our lives. So I invite you to walk with the Blessed Mother, to walk with Our Lady, even if you get distracted or you think you're taking a wrong turn or you get a little off course, she has a motherly heart and she will walk with you. Our Lady of Guadalupe, we love you. Pray for us.